Hello and welcome to my video. Um, my name is Max Oluwafemi, and this is Career Tech Explorer, channel that brings you content on data analysis, engineering, technology, as well as various tricks and tips in research. Today, we are going to look at how to analyze qualitative data using Excel in three simple steps okay so first what is qualitative data qualitative data refers to information that is non numerical in nature and are typically descriptive it deals with qualities characteristics and description rather than quantities or measurements in other words qualitative data are those type of data that you collect using what we refer to as open-ended surveys now how to collect qualitative data you can collect qualitative data using several means some of them include the use of interviews observations open-ended surveys as i mentioned earlier and content analysis what do we use qualitative data for qualitative data can be used to gain insight into people's behaviors attitudes beliefs experiences and motivations among others the fields that use qualitative data are very diverse in nature some of them include social sciences humanities and all other fields that deals with the understanding of human behavior as well as perception now there are three simple steps I'm going to mention or we're going to discuss in this video how we can analyze qualitative data using our common tool uh, common tools such as Excel step one you need to organize by uh, organize your data and that you will need to do by first uh, entering your qualitative data into an Excel spreadsheet whereby each row represents a single data point such as a respondent or an observation. Now mind you, this can be, uh, you can have a situation whereby a respondent, uh, a respondent gives multiple responses to the simple question you have asked and every response given must be taken into consideration as much as possible. The next thing we need to do is to assign columns to different aspects of your data if you want, but uh, that is not extremely necessary. We're going to see my own example in a short while. Then you should create a new column where you will have the codes to your data and those codes represent teams, categories or patterns within your qualitative data. Review your qualitative data and assign appropriate codes to each and response or observation so that you can make sure or sometimes you can use a separate coding sheet to keep track of your codes. We are going to see that in my end. You can make use of pivot tables which is the step 3 in this uh, activity to count the frequency of your codes and as well as calculate percentages if you wish to do so. I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. Now, before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you know that you this is the first time you have encountered my channel and you would like to uh, continue to get content from me, I'll encourage you to please hit the subscribe button, share the video as well with your friends, and hit also on the notification bell so that each time I drop content similar to this, you will be notified. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Alright, so um, for the one that I want to demonstrate to you, I want to use uh, question 1. The, uh, the question posed to the respondents in question 1 says, How relevant is level accreditation to quality education? And you have a bunch of responses over here, all the way down to 300 and um okay all the way to 225 responses 
Now these responses uh, have been cleaned and then they were coded using a particular set of uh, particular set of themes which are uh, as you can see which are right which are these and then translated into all of these okay now these were rewritten to give you a more direct way of responding i mean a, a more direct way of explaining each theme that was provided by the respondents and i'm just going to show you the summary of that within a few seconds so to show that to you i'll just go and use filter um let me be able to come away with uh, the response so you can see that uh, we're having about eight responses which says uh, uh, let me first is let's say this we're having accreditation help teacher quality identify areas you need to develop professionally now these are the responses under that and um, have a bunch of them a bunch okay then the next is Accreditation helps to fighters and uh, ministries to identify and provide the needed school facilities. Uh, obviously, this has been this. I'm just also going to correct this. Um, so let me quickly do that. Let's leave here we have some issues and different duties. We could copy that and then take that one. So, to do that now, play use copy page and it says, uh, I'm going to find this is the problem. I copied okay, to get back to it again. Let's see, that's what. Um, page. So this is the problem we have, and it says, "See, that's where the hand is joined." So we are now going to replace it. We're going to ask the system to find a particular problem and fix it. So it's great. As it replace all. All right, so we have uh, the replacement done. So let me quickly save that. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have eight different teams. That's the summary of what I can say. And uh, maybe I should use sorting. The sorting will help us to let's sort A to Z. Uh, good. We have the um, first one, which is accreditation help teachers. Number two, accreditation health providers and ministries. And then we have the one that says accreditation health school in content coverage. And then the last, okay, then we have accreditation health schools to align with national minimum standards and policies. And then we also have accreditation health schools to uh, identify areas in need improvement. Uh, accreditation helps to improve teaching learning process. I think we have one on uh, a very little relevance and important to the school system. And then we also have one, I think, on teacher, professional, development. So these are the eight teams that we have. Now that you have gotten the teams and you have interpreted your data, which you can use, by the way, you can use a chat GPT also to help fasten the work. And you have created all the different responses. Notes that some respondents will provide you a long sentence that can be interpreted in several ways and that they, that they match the teams that you have selected. So and that's why uh, we're having, even though we're having 225 respondents that have usable data, however, those produce over 600 
and 64 responses uh, to us based on the things that we have. So we are now doing thematic analysis. We are now going to do the thematic analysis. So now, to run this analysis, simply highlight the whole of the data. And then this little icon that pops up over here, click on it, head over to tables. What you are simply going to do here is that you are using um, uh, pivot tables. So you select pivot tables. You select pivot tables. The system automatically runs your analysis and summarizes your data, providing you the, uh, with the counts of each of the very, very beautiful right so uh if that is true then you could uh, you could also change this and say counts let's call this already counts right just call it counts then you could also now create another one you call percentages right so that in your analysis, in your market, when reporting is the talk also percentages that you got. So let me just do this a uh, little bit fine. Now to determine the to determine the uh, percentages, just create uh, a, little, a little formula by using equal to b. Okay, it's going to be three b four. That means whatsoever you find here, divide it with what you found here and convert to percentage. So, and uh, I think this is B12. This cell is B12. So, B, B12. Right? So, but you will not leave it this way because if you are to drag this formula over down now, uh, the, the computer will be moving, I mean, it will keep moving this cell. So in order to tie it down, we normally use the dollar sign before the cell number. So when that is done, it ties it down to um, that uh, particular uh, cell B12. Now this will provide this now to uh, percentages by simply coming over here, clicking on the page uh, icon. However, this is one decimal point. I mean, uh, this is a uh, whole number no decimal point. so let's use two decimal places so having used two decimal places we are content with what we have we only need to drag the formula and the formula will implement across all the cells that you have I could, uh, I could just uh, bold uh, just bold this output so let's say uh assign a different form to them aesthetically and visually appealing so ladies and gentlemen this is what you do to perform a thematic analysis for your quantitative data using the teams that you have generated i believe you enjoyed this video please follow for more subscribe to my channel share with your friends leave me a comment in the comment section so that i uh, can improve on the content that i give you daily bye bye thank you so much for watching